Hey friends, College Essay Guy here. So today I wanna to share with you something called the jellyfish exercise, which is really simple, it's kind of fun, and it's gonna help you in at least three different ways. So the first way this exercise might help you is if you're writing something called a montage essay, which is to say an essay that is not about challenges. This exercise is gonna help you figure out whether or not that topic is likely to work. The second value of this exercise is for those of you who have a really common, let's say, extracurricular activity, and you're trying to figure out how do I stand out with that topic? So let's say you're writing about football, or you're writing about you know playing the piano or you're writing about like a you know student government position those are pretty common topics this exercise is going to help you figure out how can you stand out if you're writing with those topics and i'll share with you at the end of this video the third possibly most important value of this exercise all right so here's how it works it's really simple all you need is a piece of paper and a pen i was going to say a piece of pen and a paper and what you're going to do for the first uh, attempt at this is you're gonna take a topic that you're considering and you're gonna write it at the top of your piece of paper. So let's say for example, your topic is maybe games because maybe you did one of the brainstorming exercises. And by the way, I'm not gonna get into brainstorming exercises now. You can look at my other YouTube videos for that. But let's say you've got a topic like games, for example, and you're just gonna write it at the top of your piece of paper and circle it. Then you're gonna take uh, your pen and you're gonna create a series of like tendrils and make these connect to like a lot of other smaller circles. So it looks something like this. And basically what I've been told is this kind of looks like a jellyfish, thus the jellyfish exercise. And what you've got basically is just a bunch of different circles. Now, what are you gonna put in these circles? The objective here is to try and figure out for your potential topic, games, how many different values could you connect it to? So below this video, you'll find something called the values exercise, which I also call the values menu. It's a big list of like 75 different values. So if I take a look at that values menu or values exercise, I find that there are a bunch that I could connect games to. So I could connect games to potentially uh, family because I play a lot of games with my family. Um, I've also seen how uh, games can help in the fight for social justice. So I'm writing social justice in one of my circles. I could also see, I've seen how games can help us connect more. So I'm gonna put connection. And these, by the way, family, connection, and social justice happen to be some of my core values. That's what's making it a good potential topic for me. So notice I've got the topic games and I've got these different values in here. And so I know that this is a pretty good topic if I can pretty quickly spot the connections between my topic, games, and the potential values. So what you might wanna do is pause this video and take a topic and just draw this out and go, okay, how many values could I potentially connect this to? If you're finding it easy, it could be that this is a pretty, what I call elastic topic. In other words, it's stretchy enough to talk about lots of different sides of you, and it might be a good one for a personal statement. If you're finding on the other hand that it's kind of tricky to do this and you're like, uh, I don't know, I'm not really able to connect this to a lot of things, then find a new topic because the best time to find a new topic is right now. Another way you can use this exercise is if you've got something that is like kind of common, like let's say football. Football is an extremely common topic. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for a personal statement. Save it for your extracurricular activity essay. So you've got something like football, or you can put anything here, basketball or volleyball or the flute or Boy Scouts or debate. And again, create a little jellyfish. So you put football in here and you create your little circles. And then same deal. Take a look at the values exercise. But here, rather than just going in and like grabbing the first values that come to mind, chances are those are gonna be somewhat common values. So football usually is connected to like teamwork and leadership and discipline and hard work, right? Things like that. So what I want you to do instead is, well, first do that. Like look through and go, okay, what is the cliche football essay gonna actually probably connect to? And then mentally just kind of cross those out. And then in your little jellyfish circles, I don't know what you call those, the hands. <laughs> in your jellyfish hands, I want you to, um, to put some values that might not necessarily be, be in everyone else's football essay. So for example, in a football essay, I wouldn't always see the value of like um, vulnerability. So I'm gonna put that, although I have read an awesome football essay that I cover in another video on how football connects to vulnerability. Um, social justice. If you've been following what's been going on with football, there has been some social justice controversy, right? So to me, football and social justice, you could definitely connect them. Uh, what are some others? Creativity. You don't always find creativity in the typical football essays. So I'm doing the same thing that I did with the other one. And I'm basically writing in these potential values 
vulnerability, you can't read them because it's too small, social justice and creativity. And I'm using this to basically create a simple, it's also blurry when I hold it close to the camera, a simple outline for a potential essay. And wait, did I just say outline for an essay? Yes, because if you're writing an essay about what football has meant to you, you can basically use each one of these values to write a different paragraph. So I could write one paragraph on how football has helped me become more vulnerable with my teammates, with other people, depends on how you go with that. Social justice, what is the connection you see between football and social justice? That's a whole separate paragraph. Same with the other exercise. I could take games and have a paragraph on how they've brought me more connection in my life. How have they you know, connected with my family? What does family have to do with games? And that could show a whole different side of me. So what's great about this exercise is that once you do it, essentially it's gonna help you create an outline for either your personal statement or potentially an extracurricular activity essay. Okay. Now, the third value of this exercise is I think that this is gonna help teach you divergent thinking. Now, what do I mean by this? Divergent thinking is like thinking outside the box. How can you make connections between things that may not initially seem to go? Some folks are really good at this and like it's really easy for them to make these connections between the values. For some students, it takes a little bit longer. And honestly, for some adults and some counselors, it takes them a little bit longer to find those connections. But if you practice this exercise, you're gonna get better at it. So what I tell students when they're writing their personal statements is create three to five different jellyfish. This is gonna be a quick way to iterate on potential topics and see which one you might have the most to say about it. If you've got any other questions or comments, feel free to put them below this video. I hope this was useful. And uh, you'll find lots more at collegeessayguy.com. Thanks, have an awesome week. Mm -hmm.